Hallelujah, you won't mind me. So I had to destroy everything. <laughs> hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Um, at this juncture, we will invite our chairman for the chairman remarks, chairman opening remarks for the convention. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bonsemerati. Hallelujah. Tell your brother behind you or sister, we are more than conquerors. Amen. Amen. Uh, we first give thanks to the Most High God, the Creator of heavens and earth. Amen. For making this program successful for us, for us to meet here today. Amen. We also thank everybody here who have taken a time off to present themselves to the presence of God. Amen. For this Easter convention, may God bless all of us. Amen. We also thank all the team who are directly or indirectly playing a role to make this program successful. This Easter Convention, Yorkshire, Yorkshire District, 2024, is the first Easter Convention post-COVID. COVID, COVID, Therefore, we thank God for making this possible. The Lord Most High God had dealt very graciously with the ACC Yorkshire. Although from the COVID time to now, the, the three branches had gone through some challenges. If you COVID 19, Muniano, branches bear me and say, I want Manchester, Bradford, Leeds, Yako, and social, and I see a common yebibrim in various forms. 
But by the grace of God, we are still standing. And so, and we are going more stronger. So, the Bible says that the Lord is the Lord. Amen. Amen. Credit to all people who are contributing massively to the work of God. To the individual members, to the ministers, music ministers, usher ministers, and any kind of ministry that you play in this we believe that the God who created heaven and earth, Adonai, Yahweh, has a purpose for these branches. The branches of the Apostle Continuation Church in UK. The pastors, Asafum. the elders, elders for deacons, deacon for, and all the various leaders, including all church members, are all working hard to, to promote the kingdom of God. May God bless you for that. We are trusting Adonai, Yahweh, creator of the universe, to take the Yorkshire district into a new and more higher level. We are trusting the Most High God to make this Easter convention successful for his, in shemu, in shemu Easter convention. for his glory. We welcome the Holy Spirit to take over this program from the beginning to the end. We ask the creator of the heavens and earth to dispatch hosts of angels to come today and tomorrow to help us in this program to protect all of us from the beginning to the end. Moreover, to protect all of us when we are coming from our homes to this place and going back to our homes in this two days Easter convention. We welcome you all to the 2024 Easter convention Easter Convention. Yorkshire District. Yorkshire District. The Apostle Continuation Church International. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. We are surely going to receive our our offering. We are so surely going to receive our offering. But before we do so. I would like to introduce the various assemblies and dignitaries that are in our midst. Hallelujah. If you came here and you thought, hey, is this, are these all the congregation of Bradford? You will be right in thinking so. Hallelujah. However, today we have a mixture amongst us. Amen. We have a mixture amongst us. This convention is made up of Bradford Assembly, Leeds Assembly, and Manchester Assembly. Bradford Assembly, where are you at? Can we hear your voice? Give the Lord a shout, amen. Leads assembly, make yourself known. Kamadababaya. <laughs> Manchester assembly, make your voice heard in the heavens. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, on to the head pastors. We have in our midst, Pastor Kweku Opoku Amwa. 
um, the chairman of the ACCI Yorkshire District and head pastor of ACCI Leeds Assembly. We have pastor seated directly to his right hand side, Pastor Samuel Francis Collins. He's the head pastor of the ACCI Bradford Assembly. And then seated to the chairman's left hand side, we have head pastor of Manchester Assembly, Pastor Elvis Owusu Amansa. We have from the Bradford branch, Elder Dr. Albert Echampong. We have Elder Michael Amwako from the ACCI Leeds Assembly and also the UK Regional Deacon Elder. Amen. We have Elder Enoch Abwaje. He's the presiding elder and also the ACC of, the, of the ACCI Assembly, Leeds Assembly. Hallelujah. We have um, an associate pastor who supports um, our head pastor of the Manchester branch. Um, and he goes by the name of Pastor Michael Mann. Pastor Michael Mann. Also lending a supporting hand to the pastor is Elder William Appiah. Elder William Appiah. Unto the church mothers and also lady pastors. Amen. We have Mrs. Evelyn Amwa, who is the church mother and also ACCI Leeds Assembly. And she's also a mother to us all. Amen. Oh, amen. We have Mrs. Margaret Jumphy, Mrs. Margaret Jumphy, the church mother of ACCI Manchester branch. Amen. We have our own mother. Say our own mother. Don't be jealous. Say our own mother. And it is Mrs. Lydia Collins. Mrs. Lydia Collins. Amen. We also have another anointed lady in the person of Pastor Mrs. Elizabeth Mann. Pastor Mrs. Elizabeth Mann. She is the lady pastor of Manchester Assembly. Hallelujah. On to the deacons, we have in our presence Deacon Amos Echampong. He is the men's fellowship leader at Leeds and also the youth ministry leader. We have uh, a very special man of God in our midst. Uh, I mean, he goes by the person of Deacon Samuel Nuba, and that's me. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> present, present, present. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> we have Deacon Amos Amwa. Deacon Amos Amwa, show some love. We have Deacon Samuel Amra, Amwa, also of the Bradford Assembly. Bradford Assembly. We have present in our midst another anointed man of God. I would say he's to my stature, but he's not on my level yet. He is Deacon Theophilus Collins. Deacon Theophilus Collins. Hallelujah. <laughs> Deacon Theophilus Collins is the music ministry leader. He is also the youth ministry leader. And he is also every other leader that is going. Amen. Hallelujah. And then we have the, the general of Deacons. The general of Deacons. And uh, this one, I am not on his level. Amen. Um, and that is Deacon Dr. Nana Osei. Deacon, Dr. Hallelujah. I hope you have time because I'm about to read off his accolades. Deacon, Dr. Is, is the administrative and financial secretary of the ACCI Yorkshire District. He is also the general secretary and the general secretary of overseer of Leeds Assembly. Amen. 
If, if, if he was to be in the military, he would be called Colonel Dr. Dikin Nana Osei. All right. Now let's introduce the special Dickinesses. The special Dickinesses. Oh my God. This is also General Dickness. General Dickness. This is Empress. She's not Colonel, she's Empress. Empress Dickness Regina Smith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Mama, Mama Empress Dickness is the women's fellowship leader. She is also the um, women's f fellowship leader of the Yorkshire district and then also women's fellowship leader of Leeds Assembly. Hallelujah. We have Madam Utility. Madam Utility. This woman will do anything and everything. And she's rightly Dickness um, Mata Frema. Hallelujah. We also have another lady who also do anything and everything. And she holds uh, uh, Bradford Assembly in her hand. She helps Bradford Assembly a lot. And it's no other than Dickness Franca Amwa. Oh! Oh! Hallelujah! We have, we have from the Manchester Assembly Women's Fellowship Leader, Another powerful um, utility woman who is Dickness Mata Amponsa. Dickness Mata Amponsa. Dickness Mata Amponsa. Um, before I move on, um, I didn't introduce the Bradford Assembly Women's um, Fellowship Leader. Yes, Women's Fellowship Leader. And when I'm talking about kennels, and uh, you know, she is general. General. General Mrs. Faustina Trevor. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> we have church trustees also present. Uh, Mrs. Patience Nuba and Mrs. Sophia Mensa Afari. Also, from the Leeds, from the Leeds Assembly, you've got to forgive me. My list is very deceiving, so I missed one name. Um, and it's no other than Deacon Stephen Kankam. Deacon Stephen Kankam. Leeds Assembly. Leeds Assembly. Okay. Um, without wasting much time, we'll take our offering now. God richly bless you. Amen. Please be on your feet. Let's take our offering. Let's take our offering. Oh, Yorkshire District Choir. Monyan in Tem. Monyan in Tem. That's right. Oh, you want me to sing? Hallelujah. Offering time. Offering time. Can we all please be on our feet as we give our offering? Amen.
wanted me to sing again, oh. They wanted me to sing again. Um, we are going to um, take the word of God. We are going to take the word of God. But uh, I believe there is a song ministration that was coming. When I heard about this program, I started waiting on God. Not for anything, but to have the opportunity to sing the song ministration. But I've seen here that they didn't put my name down. So, I, 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 much to my disappointment, I welcome the Yorkshire District Choir to give us the song ministration. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Do we know what today is? What is today? What is today? Amen. We are here to sing a song for this convention. We're going to celebrate that the fact that Jesus has died, but he will soon rise up again. Amen. 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 Oh, powers above all kings, above all nature and all created things, above all wisdom and all the ways of
Community, can you please be on your feet as you are standing up? Tell your neighbor it's time to do business. It's time to do business and begin to talk to your maker, begin to commit yourself into the hands of the Most High God. Whatever you want to see at the end of this day, begin to commit it into the hands of the Most High God. And prepare your heart to receive of the word. Prepare your heart to receive of the word. Prepare your heart to receive of the word. With all humility, can I please ask that you join me in hand clapping offering unto the Most High God as we welcome Pastor Elvis to give us the word of God. Amen. Let every spirit bow to the Lord. Lord, we bow. 
every mind bow to the Lord. Lord, we bow our soul to you, Lord. Lord, we bow. Lord, we bow our soul to you. We bow our flesh to you, oh Lord. Take you control. Lord, we bow. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. We bow our heart to you, oh Lord. Lord, we bow. We bow. Let the church be bow to you, Lord. Be preeminent as well, Lord. Lord, we bow. Oh, oh, oh. Let every power bow. 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 Let every sickness bow. Let every power bow. Let every problem bow. Let every sickness bow. Every sin bow, every lost thing bow. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. That this is the moment and the day that you have made. So wanna wait to me up a quan way at the atour your mind. You have died that we may live. Wouldn't we woo at the one qua and the atour see a benya in qua? Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Yes, you are the one. giving us this opportunity. So, what may I away? To be called sons and daughters of the Most Jesus, High God. Say yes, so we are friends. We are coming from Emba. Father, your people have guarded. And I will make sure we are with him. And they have honored your call. And our Omudi Yidiye Edi Ama will free our Come and celebrate what you have done for us. So, Omo Babidi Ewusi Ewo Omuja will be sure good in my end. You have chosen me as a vessel to speak today. When our power of God. Subdue my flesh. And Subdue my thoughts. But flow through me, O Lord. Teach me that I may teach well. Counsel me to give wise counsel. Give me wisdom to speak wisely. Let your power back your word. That deliverance will come. That healing will come. That breakthrough will follow. In the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for your presence. We bless you, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. If you believe, say the loudest, Amen. Amen. Give your hands to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What do you say to the praise and worship team? Oh, are you jealous? What do you say to them? Amen. Amen. I thank God for this privilege. Amen. That God has deemed me worthy to come and speak to his people. You are the most precious gift of God. And I thank my fathers in the name of the Lord. The pastors and elders and pastors who God bless you. I believe that your spirit is backing me to deliver. Hallelujah. Amen. Who know the team for this convention? One at here, one in Jumedi. Ah, yeah, can't want them. And they convention. One of them. Who can help me? One of them, my boy. Raise to a new life. Raise to a new life. Oh Seven. wow! Yeah, peja o ediaba abrabo fufubi. Hallelujah. Amen. Raised. See ya peja o. For new life. Say wo brana be ye abrabo bi a se efata. Say I am raised. Kase wo ma peja o. By God. E wo nyankupu mu. For a new life. For a new life. This theme is very very important to understand today. Jume di e adia a e dasu e adia e huinya papa papa e ma yini nara. And we find that in the book of Romans chapter number six. Na yebe wo jume di e niti e wo Roman four huma. We are picking it from verse 3 coming down. Romans chapter number 6. So Romans chapter 6, verses 3 to 4. Please, I love to teach, so bear with me. Amen. Also for our son church. Yes, sir. Verses 3. So it says, Oh, do you not know? Somebody look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Do you know? Who him? Ah, what is the answer? <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Do you know what? 
The Bible says, do you know, uh -huh. as many of us were baptized uh -huh. into Christ, Jesus uh -huh. was baptized into his death. Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized in Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? When I read this scripture, I remember the day Pastor Foku put me in the water. And I said, oh, wow. So this thing that the man put me into somebody's swimming pool, <laughs> and lift me from the swimming pool and declare that the Lord Jesus is my Savior. I was lifted from my mediocrity to a higher level. Oh, somebody, are you here? The day you are Taken from baptism, the day you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, something spectacular happens to you. Something miraculous transfers into you. The Bible declares that you and I are dead because of sin. But when Jesus came and took the nature of a man, a sinless being, and he carried my sins to the cross. I was made eligible to take his beautiful life, his higher living. So the moment I understand this, something must change in my life. That is why the Bible is asking the question, do you not know? Do you not know? Don't you know that you are a higher being? Don't you know that you are a special being? Don't you know that he has exchanged you for himself? The reason why many Christians are weak is because we don't know what the Lord has done for us. We complain because we don't know the position that we hold. The death of Jesus must not be in vain. Yes, Christ only who no man man any kwasa. Go on, sir. It is a twasso. Why want to say? Mm -hmm. Therefore, we were buried. We were buried with him through with him. baptism uh -huh. into death. To death. That Jesus as Christ. In order that that Jesus Christ was raised from the dead. Uh huh. By the glory. By the glory of the Father. What will happen? Even so, also, Even so, should we walk in a new... We too should walk in the newness of life. Of life. Did you get the picture? Jesus died on the cross. Yes, Christ, so, oh, we are As we are celebrating today. And his death made you a person that can walk differently, that can do differently. A Christian that says, I can't stop doing what I'm doing. You have not know. received Jesus. Or you don't understand what you have in you. A believer that says that me, I am too weak. I, 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 I can't do anything. Me, I, I, I am no boy. You don't understand what Jesus has done for you. The problem is not what Jesus has not done. It, it, the problem is not what Jesus has not done. It is your thinking. Do you not know? Do you not know? Do you not know? Do you not know? Do you know who you are? Please help me ask your neighbor. Say, neighbor, what Please, Please do you know who you are? Do you know? See, if you knew who you are, if you understood who you are, uh, if you understood who you are uh, if you knew who you are, if you knew who you are, you know you will not beg for anything. Is somebody here with me? 
Let's go on for this. Many to be talked about. Go it's on. Yet was uh -huh. Verses 5. Verse 5. For if we have been united together in the likeness of his death. The question is the if. It's the say. See, if today, I want you to change your thinking. I want your husband to change his thinking about you. I want your husband to change his thinking about you. I want a wife to think differently about the husband differently about the husband she's married to. I want you to use your thinking to make sure that your life is in order. I want you to use your thinking to make sure that your life is in order. But the Bible says that what the man thinketh, what the man thinketh, what the man thinketh, so shall he also be. What the man thinketh, what the man thinketh, so if you think you are poor, think heaven is going to open richness for you. And you can't think rich and be lazy. And I said what? You can't think rich and be what? You can't think rich and be what? Because richness does not fall from anywhere. Insura, any sikane and to and few forms are a one I saw to me. Somebody with me. The moment you understand the things that God has done for you, you become a different person. You begin to value people more. Is somebody here with me? So be wa. Go on, let's go. Yes, what so? Why wanna say? Uh-huh. So, my man came from five years. Say, yes, for sir. if we have been united together in the likeness of his death, uh -huh. certainly we also shall be in the likeness of his resurrection. Certainly, we shall be in the likeness of his what? Resurrection. Let's make a picture here. When Jesus rose from the dead, yes, he, was he the same man? Was he the same person? Yes, he what did he tell Mary? No, no, yes, he said, Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> Something different is happening here. I must show myself to the Father first. He must see what he has done about me. Answer. So that yeah, he, I can get Papa that Yamano. ordination to come and talk to you again. I am a new being now. I respond to him now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He owes me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And no one condemns me. Yes, sir. 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 So I don't know the word failure. Failure, what is that? What I know is called challenges. I know that there are challenges in life. I know that there are warfare to be fought. Amen. And whenever I am in the process of doing the will of God, I know for sure the devil will try to stop me. I cannot afford to quit. I cannot afford to give up because God has invested too much in me. Somebody here with me. When you know the investment your father in heaven has done in you, you are not a quitter. Somebody here with me. See, don't let us celebrate Easter as if it's something that's just passing by. You, you need to understand what God has done for you. So that when you live here, you live here in the power of the Lord. Is somebody here with me? Because there's so many things going on in the Christian world. And we, we, we go to bed and we can't sleep. Because demons are fighting us. Let me shock you with this. Some people may agree with me and some may even think that I'm going crazy. There are some dimensions in the Lord only if you have witnesses, you can talk about it. Amen. This thing called brains or mind. The Bible speaks about it several times. The prominent one is found in Romans 12 too, right? 12. 12 verse 2. That if you want transformation, what do you need to do? What do you need to do? Renew what? So that's the situation you are in. It is all here. 
It can be solved here. It can be dealt with here. That is what Philippians tells us. That when you are going to bed or when you are praying, say, be anxious for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, and with thanksgiving, let your prayer, your prayer request be made to God, right? And what is the answer you will do? God will give you what? He will give you your money. Your no, children. No. The prayer request you're praying for. What the Bible says he'll give you first. The peace that superpasses everything. To do what? What would the peace come to do? To guard your heart and your mind. First thing to solve the problem. If it's it's a mind. The first thing God gives you when you pray about something is peace. If you don't find peace in your prayer room, don't get out. Don't do what you're going to do. Because peace guides your mind to be stable. And your heart to be stable. And it gives you the confidence to stand in God. Knowing that no matter what happens, you are more than the conqueror. Is somebody here with me? The man that is speaking to you, I've gone through a whole lot of troubles. A whole lot of issues. Many who are close to me know my trouble for many years. I don't know how to quit. Amen. What is quitting? What is giving up? It's not part of my DNA. And persistency has brought me to where I am now. Persistency is moving me forward. Because God is faithful to me. Is somebody here with me? Is somebody here? The things that I can do right now. I don't like sharing them because I feel like I'm talking too much. But the troubles that I've gone through, I need to shout out what God has done for me. Is somebody here with me? Is somebody here with me? Is somebody here with me? Because if you don't tell people, it pays. It pays to be consistent. People don't know how to worship God. Somebody here. I vow with the Lord that God, please don't let me preach anything I don't have experience about. Because it will be theory. Amen. Amen. So when I speak boldly, I am coming from a place of experience. And the way Christians think is not normal nowadays. We can't use our brains right. Let the mind say, this mind, let this mind be in you. That was also in Christ. So let me ask you a question. When the Lord, the angel of the Lord, that is when we read that one, it means that Christophany, Jesus came, in, came into a human form. When he met Gideon, at the wine press, press, that he was pressing wheat in a wine press. Oh. He was pressing wheat in a wine press. <laughs> when the angel of the Lord saw him, what was his greeting? Somebody help me. Pastors, please don't talk. I'm not talking to pastors today. Also, also when you Everybody here, yeah, don't talk. Food. You know too much. <laughs> uh -huh, help me. You mighty man of valor. Mama, is that true? The guy was running away from the Midianites. Yes. He was a coward. On the nights, you know, you're not feeling because, because a one press, press is yeah. like a, 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 a hole they've dug. It's deep in. Amen. And that's where people stand in and he's hiding himself. The guy was hiding. He was run away. But when Jesus came, when the Lord came, he said, you mighty man of valor. What does he teach you? Tell me. I don't like talking too much. I don't like talking alone. That's for me. I like to too much. But. Help me. What does he mean? What was he what was he trying to do to Gideon? Come again. 
to encourage him. Is that all? He's somebody. Is a hair, mama? Clap for her. Amen. Christ always sees how he created a man to be. Is somebody here with me? If I say to right now that we are all saints, no one is a sinner here. Who believe me? Who believes me? Are we all saints? Pastor, don't talk. Are we all saints? Who believe we are all saints? Who believe we are not saints? We are not saints. Why middle? It's either black or white. There's no middle ground. Either truth or lie. Amen. So are we saints or not? So are we all sinners? Hey. Okay. 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 Let me ask you a question. I, mean, I don't know much quotations. So. so if you know the quotation, somebody can help me. But let me ask you a question. When Jesus said, Believe me, Jimmy B. And you will get a new life. Now, do you believe that? Okay. When Jesus said, Except a man be born of spirit and of water, he just cannot enter the kingdom of God. I just say, oh, but he, he who is born of the spirit is of the spirit, right? Are you born again? Are you born again? You are born again. Hey, sister, why can you hear? You are born again. I mean, do you agree with that? See, we are all born again. Born by who? Why now? By who? The spirit can you hear name God. He was born by the spirit. One at home, is of the spirit. How do you call that spirit, Mama? Who? Holy Spirit. Clap for Jesus. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Okay. So if you are born of the Holy Spirit, are you holy? Are you holy? Are you holy? Are you holy? Can a holy person not be a saint? We are saints. The problem is our thinking. The reason why you say you are a sinner is because of your flesh, but you are not your flesh. When somebody dies today, when someone dies today, you say his body is lying. Yes, so be his body is lying. That means she or he is. If you say home, the real person, person is not your flesh. The reason why we condemn people is because we look to the flesh. I didn't see. I be a good man for him. If you say home, I'm not even We can see beyond the flesh. We are so fleshly incarnated. We are so in tune with what the flesh tells us. Jesus did not die for your flesh. Yes, we could see who am I? We pray to you and answer. Who am I? He died for your spirit to be renewed. That you will give this flesh, your body, as a sacrifice. He doesn't change your flesh. It is up to you to give to him. The real you is a spirit being. Is somebody here with me? If you only knew this, you would not allow this flesh to control you. We are sinful natured. The flesh makes us sin. But your spirit is regenerated in Christ. That is what the Bible tells us that we should walk by the spirit and not after the. It's so, Pastor, do you want me to be flying to heaven? No. Please, let me know. 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 Let
Knowing that this our old man was crucified with him, that the body of sin might be done away with what we should no longer That the body of what? Must be do what? Done away with. Go on. Must be done away with what we should no longer be slaves of sin. Uh-huh. For he who has died has he, been freed from sin. He who has died has what? Been freed. Say, I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. Go on. Now, if we died with Christ, we, if we die with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. <laughs> we do what? We believe that believe. we shall live with him. Someone say, I believe. I believe. I believe. See, I walk by faith, not by sight. Means I believe that Christ has got me covered. Amen. We are living in a sinful world. There are wicked people around us. There are lustful people around us. Let this summertime come. You go to your town center. Put your goggles on. Now they shall space. Sit by the roadside. You can see how beautiful this world is. Hallelujah. Amen. So you cannot run away from sin. The sin will come to you. That is what the Bible calls it temptation. But he will be with you. You have to resist the temptation. And the power draws in you to resist it. Our thinking needs to be changed. I say sinning is by choice. Oh, yeah. You can't sit here and tell me the devil made me do it. He can't make you do it. I'll prove to you. He can't. See, the problem we have is, see, because we want to have an excuse to sin, we say it's the devil. The devil has no power to force you to sin. Oh, they can vote in Verses 14, the Bible says, For sin shall not have dominion <laughs> over you. Clap for Jesus if you believe <laughs> in him. For sin shall not, shall have, not have what? Dominion. Dominion where? Over you. Over you. For it, you are it's not. Sin does not have the power. It's we allow it. We allow it. When it comes, it has come. Don't fall in it. You are a nice lady. You are a nice man. And lust is there. Open up for you. Hey! Shall I fall in love or shall I fall out of love? I fall out of love. I fall out of Oh, so I say, shall I fall in last or fall out of last? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Someone has made you very angry. The Bible says, be angry, but don't sin. So the moment the anger hits your heart, what's the first thing to do? Shut up. Shut up. Oh, Lord. Control this tongue for the things that are coming out right now. So <laughs> <Amen. laughs> when we talk our sin, now in our Christian work, it's everything that you do against your own nature. And your nature is holy. So even when you are to operate in faith and you don't, the Bible calls it sin. Do we know that? So the Bible tells us that if we have been raised from with Jesus Christ in Colossians chapter 3, read for me. If we have been raised, Colossians chapter 3, verse 8. Then we should do something else. Colossians 3, verse number 1. That can be two minutes. Colossians Amen. chapter 3, verses 1. The Bible says, If then you are raised with Christ, seek if those you are things. Raised with Christ, what? Seek those things which Seek were above. The first thing. Honorable, bro, fruity. Tia nyabo tremami. Hallelujah. Amen. 
if you are raised with Christ, if you know you are with Christ, then seek, seek those things of a higher ground above. See, when people are becoming stubborn against you, they are on the lower level. When people are insulting you, they are on the lower level. When people are arrogant towards you, they are on the lower level. When people want to fight you and gossip about you, they are on the lower level. When somebody is trying to chase your husband, they are on the lower level. When somebody trying to chase your wife, he is on the lower level. A girl who is ready to get married. And is allowing a man to pluck her apples any given time. You are on a lower. A man that is cheap doesn't want to buy and pay for a bright price, but want to have a woman to do everything for her is on a lower. See, you must be on a higher level to do certain things right. It takes maturity to do the right thing. Shall this Christian complains and go about doing things anyhow? Me, I always say, I will not tell you to stop sinning. Nobody has ever been able to. I stopped preaching that long time ago. Are you forgetting? Who oh, your mind? Oh, go ahead. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Amen. Amen. You are not worth it to understand that you are degrading yourself. Don't you know you are degrading your stature? It's because maybe you don't know who you are. So my duty is to let you know that you are not a cheap person. You are expensive. Is somebody here with me? There are some shops when you go there you can touch any clothes you like. You can wear any clothes you like. But there are some shops even the price tag alone. <laughs> Ah, clap for Jesus. Uh, you shops, will not touch it. Shops be on more. I won't see found so I can You will not try it. I didn't see if you say and tell anybody. You look where they put that item behind a glass. You will know that that thing is worth it. My women here, please put yourself behind a glass. Internet. Put yourself behind a glass. Put yourself behind a glass. Amen. Maybe you don't know that you are Maybe you don't know that you are precious. Maybe you don't know you are valuable. If you knew who you were, you would think of things above. Our fellows in the heaven realm, heaven, our fellows there, so operate as a person who is in the heaven. Somebody here with me. When I got this revelation in my spirit, that God is the creator of the universe, and this land belongs to him, I told myself, Elvis, Elvis you've you been in Europe for so many years. Something called documentation, paper. Somebody had to approve me to be legal here. They said no. What? You can not watch it. Just document it. So being answer and see answer now. Obi Timati now. Obi just give me the baby. Let me find out. Who is sixteen years here? When did you do this? Sixteen. Stand up. Who is sixteen years? Clap for this sixteen boy. <laughs> Big man, sixteen. I couldn't believe that. <laughs> Amen. Now. That was me when I came to Europe. So far back, you can do you do A child. In those days, documentation was nothing. Nothing. You get it easy. Amen. Not like today. You see, It took me twenty-four years. Twenty-four years. Twenty-four years. Twenty-four years. People I came with the same day got yes. My, my sisters have this. My brothers have this. Everybody that came later had this. I was a pastor. Still do documents. Oh, yeah. 
praying for people to get theirs and signing their papers for them. Not mine no. I want to tell you that if God gives you a new spirit and it tells you that it's going to do something for you, I don't care how long it takes. I am a man of witness. God will do it. Is somebody here with me? You have to fight it. So, Pastor, can you believe that one of my members was arrested and that the person gave my name as a witness to come and bear them? So, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. You don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, Go Did you see that man who was arrested? Uh, 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 they, they asked me to come there. Uh, 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 Pastor Zero. <laughs> going to arrest somebody, go to release somebody. At that very present time, my only, my only identification was Bass Pass. <laughs> Bass Pass. And I've got a call from years. I saw it on my phone and my heart, my heart sunk. <laughs> I'm like, why are they calling me? Hey, because I at that time, mine has been refused. If it's an my application for the eighth time has been refused. So I thought they were coming to arrest me. Away. To take me away. Are you pastor? It's also like the man I had pastor I became calm. <laughs> Clap for Jesus. <laughs> the moment I had pastor, I said, okay, this is on me. It's not about me. That's fine. It's, uh, I said, yeah, oh, what's up? <laughs> what's going on? Do you know uh, XXX person? I said, I was very careful. I didn't want to confess. I don't know what is going on. I said, yes. My church member. Okay. Um, she has given your name to come and release her. So please come to this address, virtual identification. It's an also for okay. Your friend and your car pass and I jan yam echo form cacrabis. And never to turn and walk us. Obedi Yamba said ya umbra no baby lina and I see visa. I said I sat down <laughs> and I said, Lord. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> you said I should love you, but this one, dear, <laughs> you know I, I I am not you, right? <laughs> I'm not going to just change myself for something. Oh, <laughs> give me grace here, because for me to go there, I know I'm not coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Then something dropped in my spirit that I don't operate according to the laws of this land. I operate by the laws of the kingdom of God. And if Daniel and can go to the lion's den. So Daniel ate three cockroaches. Tell me more. For the tigers or lions could not eat him up. I can go inside there and take the person out. Without inviting him. Is somebody here with me? The kingdom of God was at hand. I took the bus pass. And that day, I prayed my longest prayers ever. Because on my way there, I was holding the bus pass like this. I was holding the bus pass I prayed all the way to you. When I got there, I mentioned my name. And what did you I'm Pastor Elvis Ozoansa. What did you say? I'm Pastor Elvis Ozoansa. I come for this person. Oh, but I got a phone call. Phone call, he said. And the guy said, "Your identification, please." And Obusa said, "I won't crack it." My bus pass was ready in my hand. And then the bus pass, he he kept on saying, "Fine, I lay down." And the two table, he so look to the left. And I was shining. He didn't look at his face at all. I saw the whole shining him. And he said, "Excuse me, sir." And I said, "Hey, I'm brand here." This is a bus pass. I said, in the last place you called me, that's what I got. I used my identification to make the bus pass. So, we say, I say, sir, so I please do accept this for me. Pass in he said, okay. Clap for Jesus. <laughs> I'm still here. 
And so, also for any I'm still here. Here. In UK here, there are some things you can only operate by the anointing of God. You can see so just so you can go on saying all so and you maybe obey me. I don't know. See the things that faith has done for me. It's because Jesus is dwelling alive in me. See, when people are afraid, it's because they don't know who is with them. When you are afraid, you don't know who is with you. 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 you say, when I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. I will fear no for what? Cry for Jesus. See, your, your Christian life is not a weak one. And it doesn't come on a silver platter for you. Whenever you told the Israelites to go to warfare, so I can see for God will tell them the warfare is not yours. The battle is not yours. So if it's not mine, why do I have to go? No, I want some more because I'm not if the battle is not mine, I'll stay home, cross my legs, you go away from me. <laughs> Abi, but you say you go and stand there and see the salvation of the Lord. That, that means you have to step into, into the problem. problem. You have to bring your presence there. If you are young today and you are following Christ, fire up in the spirit. Pray and build your spirit up. I said, pray and build your spirit up. When you get to the ages of this man, and this woman behind there, you can't pray that long anymore. I bet you can't pray that long anymore. Your life will only by experience. Let me give you a small counsel. Once you are living with Christ, a time will come that things you are looking for will delay. That is the time of studies. Studies. Learn something. The moment you get sacked from job, don't look for another job. That is our mistake. Learn a new trade. Learn something. Build yourself up. Grow in the Lord. Grow. You grow your thinking. Grow your capabilities. See, self worth. It's very, very important. important. If you are depending on people to bless you all the time, they will always talk to you anyhow. Somebody here with me? A woman who works hard earns her own money. People call her prideful. No, she's not prideful, man. The girl knows what she wants. Amen. The lady knows what she wants. Oh, you oh, yeah. lazy boys. You want girls to work for you. Not this one though. It doesn't work anymore. See, see, I see I see more men and I'm more yaku. You for no me say man, you juma man. And this ah, and a man that works hard. Oh, men so no so brave in a juma no. That's not like a lazy woman. Oh, no so I'm poor about what you for. You can pray from morning to evening for a husband. But if you don't have a proper work ethics, nobody will marry you. Is somebody here with me? Being with Christ. Walking in faith. Must be a life of action. Think of the things above. Think higher thoughts. I don't have the time to be fighting you. Somebody here with me. If you don't like me, don't like me. That's your problem. I prayed a prayer one time in church, Pastor. Some people were really frustrating my life. And because they knew my story. And I they will talk to me anyhow. So I said to the Lord, Father, these people that are talking to me anyhow and living my life and they are leaving me, Father, let them live long. Don't let them be far away from me. Don't let them be too far away. Keep them alive. And let your promises to me I come to pass. And give me the grace to go and bless them.
Amen. Amen. You, if you hate me, you live long. Because all time, 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 all Because if you hate me, you will see the, the table before me. If it's a when salt, people hate you, God is only going to prepare a table for you. So please, don't pray against your enemies to die. Because that same quotation you are looking for, if prepare a table before me in the presence of who? And you said they should die. Who should come to the party? Clap for Jesus. They shouldn't die. Think higher. Think beyond them. They say you can't do it. I believe this is my last point for you. There are some things in my family that people have told me, prophets and people have told me that it's a curse in the family. So in the beginning of my growth in Christ, I was, I was firing them. You, you must die. die. You must die. No, no. And they are not dying. And I'm no frustrated. No. And I'm praying. They are not dying. They are frustrating me. I'm not saying to no person who is home no more. Then one day the Lord said, <laughs> "You are fighting a losing battle, eh?" They be Christo chilling say, "Oh, they are." My blood does not kill people. <laughs> it protects people. It saves people. If you apply the blood of your enemy, I'm going to save them. The moment I got that revelation, I said, what a waste of time. Hallelujah. Amen. My thinking was not properly aligned to what scripture was telling me. Because I be taught differently. So if it was, even though the truth was plain, I couldn't process it here. That the blood was on the door to protect the people inside. So if I say, yes, you are only going to live longer. <laughs> and then I realized that the blood of Jesus doesn't kill. Yes, why did you read in the Bible that the blood of Jesus killed people? Why do you take a prayer from? Why do you take a prayer from? We don't know. See, we don't know. That's the Bible. Do you not know? 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 We don't know. Because there are some principles. Now I sleep quietly. I sleep peacefully. No demons attack me. I don't remember the last time I had a bad dream. Oh no, I don't remember. When a, 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 a chicken with a hair scarf chased me. I used to have a chicken with a head scarf. It just hit me like that, and I'm running away. Some of you, you can dream, and snakes are chasing you all the time. The Bible says he has translated us. He has translated us from the kingdom of darkness into, into, into. So I am in the light. How come I've always been attacked by things of darkness? Because our thinking is always in darkness. Satan is doing this to me. Hey, are doing this to me. People me. are doing this to me. So you are always thinking negative. You are not thinking what God is doing to you. God is doing for me. God is progressing me. Hallelujah. Think what God is doing. Not what Satan is doing. But whatever you are thinking is what you are getting. Is somebody here with me? So be what here. You can clap for Jesus. Bonsema Christo. Salvation is not just to clear our sin. In quite general, once you make a to live a complete new life. I was so into me and Barbara, but I am new thinking. And you're not adding such rebi. Amen. Amen. I don't know anyone who's a failure in my church. Only only will be a young cuckoo out. Can I sorry, man? They just don't have that. They, they are just progressing gradually. Everybody is progressing gradually. Hey, even if they sin, they are still the child of God. Is somebody here with me? I don't have the. I don't even have the right to condemn you. Is somebody here with me? My duty as a minister of God is always tell that you are working below your level. Come up, my daughter, my son, jump up. 
this, this, this thing you are doing is limiting who you are. You are too precious. 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 Are too precious. Are too precious. Is somebody here with me? See, the best way to get somebody to repent is not to talk about what they did, but what they could have done. Be 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 what they did, but what they could have done. They be are so be are they be are and send for that. And yes, we cheat at the corner here, but send a deal bit to me. I have papa, a bit to me. Some more because the people don't know what they don't know. I didn't see a visa at the corner. All what we know is sin because we are born in sin. If you say, Yeah, we are to born into the be are born in me talking to you about your sin that you are born into, I don't help you. It is a make our born in nature and every day. I'm telling you what you need to do. To fight what is fighting you already. Do you hear me? I The person is a thief. Stop stealing. What is that? What what, what, what is going to help that person with? Master, you like stealing, eh? You like stealing, pa? Why? Yeah, pastor. Life, oh, I don't know. Something I'm dead, then I'm going to just pick it up. Okay, then, so you don't know how you you just become to steal. Okay. Can I pray for you? Lord, deliver him. In the name of Jesus. You are delivered. You believe it. Okay. Tomorrow, come with me. You're going to find a job. And when the urge comes, when you take something, tell yourself, I'm going to earn my right to get something. I have to earn it. I must earn it. I can't take what belongs to somebody. Because when it's belonging to me, I don't want anybody to take it. So I have to build my own capacity. My own mentality. I have to program myself. I have to work myself out. I have to change my mind. I have to renew my thinking that I can do better. I can do better. I can do better. And I become better. Hallelujah. Amen. Me telling you how to stop stealing and not help you. But if you have a job to do and you are challenged, Amen. <laughs> Life is a gradual process. Somebody here with me. Life is a gradual process. As I said, the Lord has dealt with me in several ways. So when somebody makes a mistake, it breaks my heart to to see how God's heart breaks. Because my very words can break that person completely. Yes. Or I can use my words and transform that person. Is somebody here with me? Life is about knowing the right thing to do at the right time. So the Bible says, at the right time. At the right time. Jesus Christ came. That was your yesiness. Ah, he came to die for us. He came at the right time. There's right time for everybody. Every one of us struggle with something. But Jesus loves us equally. So you are raised to walk into a new life. There will be a struggle. There will be challenges. But I'm here to encourage you. Never give up on your God. I said never give up on your God. I said never give up on your God. People may reject you. People may not understand you. They may say you have you say you are a Christian, but you're always doing the same thing over and over again. Go to your closet. Tell the Lord. Lord, it's not about what people are saying. Strengthen me. And so, so let me please you. Let me do better for your sake. Use me to glorify your name. For me, let let me walk in the higher level. level. Because if you can give your body as a living sacrifice, if you say, oh, let me do better for your sake. 
that the Lord will transform you. But people who said she was bad, they will see you and say, now she is good. Oh, glory be to God who oh, has made her that way. Glory be to God who has made her that way. Glory be to God who has made her that way. Through your life, somebody may give glory to God. Because if everybody here was righteous as we were supposed to be, then what are we going to do in church? Amen. Amen. See, you are a righteous being. So live according to that righteousness. Amen. Amen. When the problem comes to you, dig deep. Cry if you want to. So Me, I'm a weeper. <laughs> I cry a lot. Because that is why I take all my frustrations out. In my prayer room, I say, Lord, heal me. From this anger. Because that I get so angry with the Lord. And everybody around me. Because nothing was working for me. But when he started opening my pipe. When he started opening my pipe. When he started opening my pipe. The pipe has broken. It's coming. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Walk in the newness of life. Let people see Christ in you. Let people see that there's hope in walking in Christ. Because if you give up, they will never see how God was going to finish the race. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I pray that this message will touch somebody's heart. If it's just one person, may God cause you to walk in a higher level. May this Easter, may your life be transferred from lower esteem to higher esteem. May you see positivity ahead. Things are not going right. Create the right things in your head. By the time we come to Christmas convention, convention all great people will be gathered here. Now for the you shall be a great now person. You shall be a great person. You shall be a great person. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, yes, Christ, so Say amen. Amen. Please be on your feet. You are great. You are great. You are great. You are great.